This is the PMI. It's right here. Position number five, it's on CAD surface 34. In the base, it's a 0.2 millimeter tolerance. So it's exactly the same. So then, so since you're asking that question, let's go back to, um, let's go back to the physical base and look at that PMI. Make display part. That's this tolerance right here. Remember we, were, we I was focusing on these holes, right? Those are the holes that the buttons locate to. This, and this, and this, and this. And there's the PMI that's embedded in the 3D CAD. We extracted it. It shows up here. So when it's, when it's PMI, it looks, <laughs> rightly so, nicely GD&T. Plus or minus, position, datum, flatness. This is DCS tolerance, okay? So PMI shows up and it shows up as GD&T with this icon here. DCS tolerances have this icon here. And then this, these are the icons for adding. <clears throat> you can see positional tolerance here, um, profile tolerances here. So this, this actual base is an example where it was tolerance all DCS, and then, oh, we don't need to use DCS because we have PMI. So the idea is, is maybe I started this model and there was no PMI available yet, so I don't want to not be able to do my analysis, so I tolerance it with DCS. You're integrated in NX, the part's been updated, it now has PMI, so you just turn this stuff off, you extract the PMI, and now you're deviating the part according to the CAD.